According to information experts, universities can make money from their inventions or research if they appreciated the use of intellectual property and patents. Intellectual property meaning that if an invention is, is made, then someone can take it to market. And that is what is lacking also, because universities think that, okay, they are there just for publishing and, and, and that's all. But they are there to, to create opportunities, business opportunities for the entire country. And that's why uh, uh, the technical means are lacking, laboratories are lacking, and also uh, the economic perspective of, of, uh, of their um, findings also uh, is lacking. Because a professor of science will think, okay, I'm just a professor, I publish, and that's all. But what he, he publishes is for the benefit of the country. So that's why they should also have uh, see this also from the economic uh, angle so that they can uh, drive these inventions to, to market. As such, a training for scientists from chosen universities in Uganda has commenced today at Chambogo University to equip the country's scientists with skills on how to utilize information embedded in patent databases. Understanding intellectual property because it plays a role in supporting technology transfer and also commercialization of our research outputs. Without IP, there is no way you are going to secure the value you add in creation of any product. Otherwise, it should just be left out into the market. And with IP, we are also able to document our research so that the generations coming after us can improve on that research. If they ask you today, they tell us how, tell us just a few research products that you know have come out of Shambhogo University. You won't know. They are there, but you won't know because they are not documented. The training is organized by the Uganda Registration Services Bureau, supported by the World Intellectual Property Organization and the Japan Patent Office.